Hello folks, Top of Hinge here and welcome back. So, as you can probably tell, I'm a little ahead of what we're doing. I uh, forgot to record the actual two missions that I've already performed. Uh, reason being, I've got a bit of a cold. Thought I recorded it, definitely didn't do it. I thought I recorded the other one, definitely didn't do it. So, I'm going to blame that on, on the cold. Like I say, I'm not feeling perfect, but... No, good enough to hopefully try and get an episode of that in. Now, generally what we've done, we've done the, uh, the, the engineer mission, uh, which was nice. We got that out pretty straightforward with the shinobi. And then we got like a, a, a another straightforward mission, but I decided not to perform that. Uh, I decided whatever missions we, we, we were basically on, to basically uh, bring those people back into our pool, because we are, we are being hunted by a UFO. And I want to make sure that we have, uh, I wouldn't say a great squad, but at least a squad available for that to land. Uh, so it's either going to land, or it's either going to basically uh, take out our drive engine, and, and then basically we have the UFO mission on that, which uh, or the Avenger mission, which at this stage would be absolutely terrible. Uh, I'm not going to lie, like I say, I've got the best squad in that uh, Haven Liberation. And as you can see, the UFO basically spawned right on top of us, but we got away from it, which I find quite hilarious in itself because every time I played this, it always seemed to grab me, but we got rid of it, which was uh, very odd. Uh, like I say, that the, the, the probability to actually lose it is so low that I, I, I didn't expect to actually get off it, but and the other thing with that was I'm actually kind of glad that happened because, like I say, I don't have the greatest squad to go up against, you know, a swarming uh, UFO mission, to put it that way. And the, the, the worst thing about it as well is that the dark event, it, or, or I should say the pending dark events, are very strong. You know, they have uh, increased armor and health, they have uh, negative to poison fire and such and such like that which so it's going to be a real tough mission uh, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that it failed now the good thing about that though is that we've got our squad available for the uh, the covert operations so again uh, we put Andretti and Lewis on that one uh, Moretti and Lewis on that one simply because you know they because they're bonded for uh, covert operations it uh, reduces their chance to get ambushed it reduces, it reduces the failure chance and it reduces the overall time uh, that they're on the mission. So I'm quite happy with that. Now from there we got a couple of days in and then we got our uh, infiltration for a scientist. Again, uh, extracting a VIP and as you know, whenever I do VIP missions, if I can basically go in with just one shinobi, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And because I do, that's what, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, simply because uh, a scientist is very useful to us uh, simply because we've got all the engineers we need for end game so we can purchase everything we can make everything with the engineer but having scientists now will just reduce our uh, reduce our time basically uh, researching stuff and uh, I think it also increases chance to get inspired for some of our research time so yes happy with that from there we got our, uh, our, our, our resistance ring up and running, so this is going to make, again, if we can put an engineer in here, it's going to reduce the, 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 the days in which we can infiltrate, which is great, and I believe once you get up to a certain threshold, you can put, you can get more missions done, I want to say, but I'm not sure if that's still the degree of it, but I, I'm definitely sure you can reduce uh, the number of, of days that you infiltrate, so that'll come in very handy indeed. Right after that we finally got our laboratory up as well. Again, because we have so many engineers, we're kind of lacking the scientists, so I thought it'd be a great idea to have the laboratory for that, and to simply reduce our chance uh, of, reduce our days of researching, but also get a, a higher chance of the inspired defense. So I'm quite happy with that, but like I say, uh, right now, I'm not going to be too, doing too much in the laboratory, but it's there when we finally need it. Uh, right after that, we got the Liberation mission, 
uh, but again the timer for it was very low uh, I am trying to figure out why it was so low simply because I've got everybody all on Intel so that really should have been a lot higher than it is uh, which is a shame uh, like I said I thought I'll have a wee chance to see who I can put onto it but you know when you've got two days you can't do much with those kind of type of missions so I just basically uh, just, just let the timer run down and then we'll get the mission straight back up so we got the experimental weapons essentially the reason we're doing that is to get frost bombs that's all we're interested in uh, that's going to be quite useful for our officer who has our great officer so I'm quite happy with that going forward so I've made sure to go into the proving grounds to purchase or make the frost bombs and also the battle scanner uh, the reason I want to have a battle scanner is for the assassination stronghold so I want to make sure I have one of them available and the frost bombs obviously as I said for the officer grenader because that's really going to come in handy simply because they have the, the support uh, 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 ability so it gives them a free a free frost bomb so I'm quite happy with that uh, from there I decided to go for the purifier uh, the reason for that is we want to try and get fire grenades as well so uh, fire grenades with plasma grenades and frost bombs whoever needs them you know it's a it's a it's a pretty strong concoction after a careful examination of the specialized advent unit identified as the purifier i have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory gland these changes in conjunction with their specialized armor give the purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. Well, after all that, we finally got uh, our Shinobi mission pop up. So, this is the very important prisoner. So, this is a scientist again. Uh, going to be very useful now uh, going forward uh, as many scientists as we can get our hands on the better uh, simply because we can reduce the, the the days in which they're researching get inspired and also we can start performing like research abilities which produces an aspect of could be alloys could be supplies could be cores to uh, purchase or make things uh, within with shen and also in the proving grounds so as uh, because it's a pretty short episode already. I'll just get straight into the uh, next mission, which is of course well, looks Tom Finchy here, and welcome back. So today is single Shinobi mission. So this is to grab a, an engineer. So hopefully we can get in and out as quickly as possible because I've got a bit of a cold and I just <coughs> want to go to my bed. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. So hopefully this is a very quick mission. Or maybe it's maybe it's oh, it's an, a scientist. So maybe it's just as quick as the uh, the Reaper mission. That would be quite handy. So we'll get straight into it. Yeah, it's probably been like another little week. Uh, everything's going like I say. Everything's going pretty well, uh, apart from this cold. <clears throat> I go out when I looked after the pest. And Mammy's got the cold as well. Both got hit. Hit by the bug. Yeah, I'll certainly try. Yes, well, at least we're pretty close, so. Oh. Hopefully, uh, we're, we're alright. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, at least I can move. <clears throat> Bad thing is, we got a way over there. Don't have to rush you, don't have to rush you, don't have to rush you, hey, hey, come on. Voy a we can get a bit lucky here. Ordenes confirmadas en marcha. Okay, that means they're down in the hole. I mean, I should be able to get all the way over. Actividad enemiga. Okay. Voy a 
The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Shots. No. At least they were one. Well, they don't shoot. They shouldn't. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> now they got poison rounds as well. Mm. Oh, I honestly think I picked the best time to get that uh, Haven Liberation done. They've got armor, they've got overwatch shots, they've got poison rounds, they're immune to fire, poison and everything else. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Please. Please. <clears throat> So after that exciting mission and laying out just how unfortunate we are for our next probably our liberation mission to be honest uh, the fact that they have so many bonuses it's going to be quite a, a difficult mission to perform but uh, like last time you know, for the, the liberation mission in New Chile we only had like two days to infiltrate it uh, but for this time around we finally have enough uh, days on the calendar so we can get a good squad in it to basically make sure that uh, we can either capture the person or neutralize them. Ideally uh, I'm more than happy just for them to die simply because it's easier. You know, I, can, I could basically get a shinobi up to figure out where they are, just put a sniper up on a tower and hopefully just kill it in one shot uh, but for this time around I decided just to go with a, a larger squad uh, uh, to, to basically try and get XP, to be honest. Uh, ideally, it would be quite useful uh, in this regard. So we got our successful covert operations, uh, and we decided to go for the resistance mech in South Africa. Uh, that way it's going to help us just in case there is faceless on the mission. We'll have our mech plus our little uh, resistance ops with obviously our Haven advisor as well. Uh, I'm going to have to wait for our liberated area to finish hopefully successfully and that way I can start working on part 2 of the Warlock and the Assassin because we need a tech sergeant. And well it's been a very long wait uh, but we'll finally get the uh, liberated mission 
performed. Uh, we finally got 200%, so that means uh, I, I don't think you get like a, a advantage or a disadvantage, to be honest with you. Uh, I just always prefer to be at 200% when performing that mission. Uh, it does mean though that there is a large number of troops. Uh, I think for this one it's 35 or something, so yes, uh, like I say, ideally our two snipers are going to be the, the, the winners on this one. Uh, ideally they are going to be hopefully our strongest soldiers on this. Scout out with the shinobi, fire, uh, basically stay where they are, fire, hopefully kill everything that they see. And then with our other troops, basically they're just to mop up that anything that comes close. So that's the plan anyway. So until then folks, it's been Tom FNG. As always, practice makes perfect. And I'll see you in the next one.